Hey guys, um, I know I look like death, but I've been going through a rough patch, sorry. Um, but as promised, when I get packages, I open them with you. Um, guess what also came today besides this other little thing down here? My wedding equipment came! If I wasn't feeling so ickity, I would have put it up before I did this video. <laughs> But I promise I will put up the um, info for um, what we need for the next tutorial. I haven't even had a chance to do that yet, yet, because I have a, a that's how bad I'm feeling. So, 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 so. But I can put on a fake fake smile when, when I got the package. <laughs> so this is from Beyond the Rack. Um, there's two items in here. I already know what they are. I'm so excited about that lighting. And then I was also looking into getting backgrounds. But with their, there being so much stuff in the room already, like if we weren't using it as a guest room, then um I would have it just fully like a studio but can't do that to can't because I love my nephew and I love for him to have a place to sleep when he comes over. So I can't. Oh my goodness, I don't wanna have to cut this. I can't even open this and it's like made to open. Because there is a something in here that I don't want to cut. Okay, so I'm going to have to use the old scissors on the little on the weak side. Okay, now one thing in here I'm kind of like, I really don't know if I should have got because I'm kind of a little on the older side for this, but I'll show you, I'll show you the first one first. One first, and then I'll show you the other one. This is a dress. It looks like Halloween Town. <laughs> It's a dress for me to go out on Halloween. Wow, that is a lot of black. <gasps> Did I break that off? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> broke off the hanger. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going to have to find a new one. But it's a sheath dress. With like, and in the picture it didn't look like it had that much orange on it. So, I don't really know if I'm as happy with this as, it, as I saw in the pitch, in the, in the, um, photo, in the photo it did not look like it had that much stinking orange on it. Maybe it's just the way it's worn. I want to feel the material. It broke the stinking hanger on it because I dropped the box. It's really thick. That's good. And it's like a really stretchy material. I, and I got it because it was like super cheap. It was a $19. Oh, it's by Emma and Michelle, I believe. Oh, no. This one's Vior Vior. The next one. I have, I have one more dress. I don't have much left coming because I've gotten back to budget. Um but I do have a dress on its way. Does this have an original? Yeah, this was a $80 dress. $79.99 for this dress. And I got it for um, $19. So I have to say that's not bad. It might not even... And it actually, it might have been cheaper than that because I know the one that I got from Ideally, that was a peplum dress. That one is 19 was 19 this one may have been 14 because I know they were having it beyond the rack was having it in just like this crazy sale and um, if any of you guys saw it it was like 90% off everything and plus I had because if you remember um, like they didn't have an item something that I bought so they gave me that like $10 credit and I had free shipping so I was like, and I just, because I don't have very many dresses, I was just like, oh, that, it looked really, really cute on the girl. So 
hopefully, because it didn't look like it had this much orange on it. Because that's a lot of stinking orange. Like, this is like Nightmare Before Christmas Gone, gone Wild. <laughs> but I love Nightmare Before Christmas, so I probably will literally like the dress. Uh, so I'll have to try it on and see how I feel about it because I believe I can take it back. It's, it's just a cute, I mean, it's just a color, orange color block dress. I'm kind of bummed I broke the hanger, but I have a many more hangers, so. Oh, this over here on the bike. Sorry, guys. And then this is, so now I'm like worried about two things I bought. That's great. <laughs> They're both crazy cheap. Okay, this one I kind of feel like I'm a little too old for, but I've seen everybody wearing them and I do need more, now that's going to fall. I need shoes that are more on the comfortable side. And I said that if I was going to buy a pair of these kind of shoes, I would only buy them in a certain color or, like, certain pattern or whatever. And I'm kind of like, this is like what, like, Britney Spears wears. For <laughs> so, yeah. There are those, um... <laughs> The Wedge Sneakers. I'm... Huh. It's another one of those I'm going to have to wear them. Maybe with some shorts. They might be cute. They're one of those things where it's like, it looks cute on online. You're looking at it and you're like, Oh, I love metallic! And oh my gosh, I've been trying to want to try those. And like... I, I just go ahead and get them because, like, I want to be, like, in the in crowd. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really don't care about being on the in crowd. <laughs> I just saw them and thought, well, you know, a lot of people are wearing these. They're, you know, a cute kind of wedge that I'd be able to wear. And the other ones they had... I did not like, they had apple bottom ones, and I just didn't, they just weren't cute. Like, literally, the only ones I thought that were, were cute were the metallic ones. And, like, that's basically what I figured I would get. I was hoping to find some silver, because silver kind of goes a little bit more with everything besides gold. Because with gold, you're going to have to do dark neutrals. Because you can do neutrals with these, but you're going to want to do dark neutrals. Like... I see myself wearing, like, some really dark denim shorts and, like, a men's black t-shirt and the knees. And that would probably be very cute. But, you know, you can't really... I wouldn't wear this with anything that had a lot of print to it because I actually had, like, when I was a teenager, a pair of shoes that weren't very much different than these and actually everybody loved them. I had these yellow wing, they were yellow and black and they looked like they were spray painted black. They were like platformed, um, they weren't technically, um, oh, what do you, what do you call them? I'm sorry, fiber, 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 uh, um, they, uh, I could keep wanting to say sketchers, it's not sketchers. Um, they weren't a Officially, ah, uh, they're real high sole, and I used to wear them because I have a pair, and like all the punk rockers wore them. When I remember, I'll let you know. But um, so I had those, and they were yellow and spray painted black with a wingtip, and. They were five bucks at this one, Miller's Outpost. If you guys remember Miller's Outpost. That's how long ago I got these shoes. And I just was like, these are the most unique shoes in the world. Everybody loved 
these stinking shoes. My mom thought they were absolutely hideous. And I know my husband's going to see these and go, are you freaking nuts? <laughs> but I thought I at least want to get one pair because they were like 10 bucks. Um, who are they made by? Oh, yeah. Buko. It's a brand I see a lot on Beyond the Rack. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. It's not Bucko. Buko. <laughs> Bucko 9. <laughs> that's a band I haven't heard in a long time. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the sneaking shoes. I keep wanting to say Skechers so bad. Ha! Big Thick Soul! Oh my gosh! What are they called? They're not platforms. They're... <laughs> can't remember. I want you guys to get, like, an idea of what these, like, crazy looking shoes were, so, but I can't remember what... I'll remember it when, like, I'm laying back down on the couch, like, moaning and groaning. <sighs> But, so, that's what I got from Beyond the Rack. I'm kind of sad about the dress. In the picture, it really did not look like I had that much color blocking on it. Like, it literally looked like it had barely any patterning on it at all. So, I'm kind of like, maybe it's the way it's worn. Maybe when you put it on. Because it really, it looked like there was nowhere near as much color blocking and design on that dress in the picture nowhere close all right so um next video we'll have lighting so i don't know if i'm going to end up getting like a backdrop but i do want to try to and i have found editing software um for the next tutorial and hopefully everything should start coming into place. But I've looked into buying like backdrops and stuff. They're very expensive and I don't really know like I'm gonna have to see what things look like after I set up the lights because I know a backdrop can be very helpful um, for any you know any kind of videotaping and blah blah blue so we'll see. Um, but yay, lighting's here. That's really, I, I'm most excited about lighting being here. And I really hope I don't have to take these back. Because <laughs> one, I feel a little old for the shoes. I mean, I'm only in my early 30s. It's not like I'm 40 or anything. And I'm not saying 40's old. I'm just saying that it's not like I'm like 50, 70, 80. It, like, I, I do feel that I've kind of passed, like, these are more for, you know, like, 21-year-olds, but I wanted to give them a try, because I have seen some, they are cute, I do like, I like stuff that's, like, a different style, like, I thought, oh, that's kind of a cool idea, you know, making a wedge with a sneaker, but, um, I have the name of the shoe, like, on the tip of my tongue, so that's why I'm kind of stalling for time. Oh, well, I can't think of it. When I think of it, I'll tell you the next time I see you guys. And then I'll probably forget by then. So, thank you for watching. Please keep watching. I know things have been slow. I haven't done anything in a while. One, because I just haven't been feeling good. And two, I have cut way back on buying stuff. So, um, because I want to make sure I can, you know, get anything I might need to make videos better. So, and then I'm going to give, the only reason the boxes are still here is because I have a friend who's going to need them because she's moving. My cat's about to get in the um, closet, so I got to go. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Please leave comments about how crazy that dress is and how crazy those shoes are. I'll wear them together for you and take a video. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. But that dress, I swear, did not look. <laughs> oh.
That's what happens when you're an addict of shopping. <laughs> you just buy anything because it's like 10 bucks. <laughs> you never know. It might look really cute. So we'll see. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.